Hello everyone and welcome to Doll My Shop. Today we're going to be learning how to make this Ken doll trench coat. Let's get started! I start out by getting the pieces for the trench coat. There are the sleeves, the lapel piece, the collar, the back piece, and the two front pieces. We'll get these all cut up and I'll show you them individually. Here are all the pieces cut out. This is the collar piece. You fold it in half like this. The next piece you have is the lapel piece. There are two pieces here. I didn't show my, me pulling the pieces apart, but there are two of them. Here are the sleeves as well. There are two sleeve pieces that will be going into the pits of the uh, garment here in a minute. You'll understand what that means eventually. There are also two front pieces and one back piece. The front pieces will lay on top of the back piece as you see here. Now that we got all the pieces differentiated and sorted correctly, it's time to take the sewing machine and sew across the top of the shoulders. And then we'll take the arm pieces and put those on next, and then of course the lapel and the neck piece. Just wanted to stop here for a moment and show you what the arm looks like when you attach it to the pit of the garment. You gotta make sure everything's lined up and pinned correctly. Then we'll take the machine and sew along the edge here. Don't forget after sewing along the pit of the garment you need to hem the sleeves as well. This is what it should look like when it's done. Here's the front and here's what the back should look like as well. All the pieces are put together nice and neat. Alright, here comes the next step. You turn it around and then fold it in half. It should create a shape that looks just like this. We're going to pin everything in place and then sew along the edge. We're going to do the same thing to the other side when we go to the machine. Here's what it looks like when everything's pinned in place. We're going to take the machine and sew along the edge here. And here. After sewing along the edge of the coat, it's time to work on the collar. This is the collar piece and you sew along both sides of the edge. Now it's time to work on the lapel. See, there are two pieces. You pin them along the side. Both sides. And also you take the collar and then set it on top of your piece. Hold on. Not on top. Let's try that again. This is what you're actually supposed to do. You're supposed to put on the collar first and then the lapel pieces. You set them on top like so and pin them in place. I'll show you what it looks like pinned here in a second. There we go. Everything's pinned in place now. This is what it's supposed to look like. All right, back to sewing. When you finish sewing around the lapel, cut the corners of your fabric to make sure that the bulk is minimal. 
when you turn your project right side out. As you can see, the corners are flat. After turning everything right side out, the last thing to do is fold up the bottom, pin everything, and then saw around the entire project one last time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and all that fancy stuff. And I can't wait to see you on the next video. Bye!